All right, so I had a 12, couple of 12 inch I-beams here that uh, I didn't get video of it, but I cut them in half, obviously uh, this way, and then I chopped them all in half because they were, I had, I think it was a 12 footer and an eight footer. And so I cut them in half lengthwise and then cut them in half widthwise um, so I've got these plates to use as my bunks to set the logs on. So I'm getting ready to set the first one up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so that'll sit on there like that. I'm going to put some braces in here to strengthen these up a little bit. Um, but this should be pretty stout for anything I can roll up here. Um, so I'm going to have four of these that go nearly the full length of the trailer and then the shorter ones i'm just going to put on the one side or most of one side and that'll be when i'm using the saw head in the narrow configuration so i can have the longer small stuff on here um, but uh, also i'm going to have some planks that I'm going to have that I can screw onto here um, and will run most of the length of the trailer and then I'll be able to drive my tractor up on here take the tractor and the sawmill to a place and then unload unscrew the boards take those planks off and use the tractor to skid logs or whatever load logs onto the trailer and still be able to saw. So I think it's gonna work out really nice. I'm just showing you what I got going so far. All right, so this is where we're at. Let's see what's going on. I've got some C clamps clamped to this piece of two by two, running the length and uh, the other side here. See, I got a string uh, strung across there from end to end and then I just measured uh, just took a little feeler stick or whatever to see what the height was here and I just checked to make sure that the center two were pretty daggum close uh, to what the they are on the ends here so that's what I got going now I'm gonna weld it to the I-beam here and so then I'll just need to make sure that these are all level. Um, I'll probably clamp two by two on each end here. Uh, and then I can stick a level in between and make sure that they're all level before I uh, weld them out on the ends here to make sure that they stay that way. So this thing ought to be pretty stout by the time we're done. Um, and then on the other side over there, or this side, I I'm not, can't remember. The side that I'm gonna have the head where it can narrow up, I'm gonna put a couple pieces in the middle here um, of the shorter stuff. I'm gonna stick in the middle. Um, that way, if you've got f smaller stuff that you wanna cut, say you wanted to cut a cookie or something, you'd be able to set it on there and uh, have it sit in that opening in the middle. So hopefully it looks, or uh, hopefully you get an idea of what's going on here. It's looking pretty good, I think. <laughs> 